Holy crap, you guys, that was one of the best games I've ever seen. I want to fist bump all three of you. This is the final wager. All right, so here are the scores for our three players. Carlos in the lead with 19,600. Scott in second with 17,4. Tina in third with 16,2. Start with these two, Scott and Carlos. Scott wagers everything. He will have 34,800. Meaning to top that, Carlos will need a wager of 5,200 plus 10,000, 15,200. If he gets it wrong with that wager, he will be left with 4,400. To stay above that, Scott will need to wager 13,000 at most. And Tina will need to wager 11,800 at most. Now we turn to second and third. Tina and Scott. Tina goes all in. She will have a total of 32,400. So to cover her, Scott will need to wager 15,000. Puts him in a tough spot. He's already got a wager no more than 13,000, but if he wants to beat Tina no matter what, so that's his decision to make. If he gets it wrong with that wager, he will be left with 2,400. As we know, that's already less than Carlos would have, and we already calculated what Tina needs to, to wager at most to stay above Carlos, so that'll work as well. For rule number three, the only person who can really do anything with this is Tina. She needs to wager 1,200 to cover Scott, and she needs to wager uh, 3,400 to cover Carlos. So there we have it. As is fitting for these three players, all of them wagered properly. Congratulations, guys. That is an awesome game. We had a fairly long streak there of some very mediocre games three, four weeks ago. And it's really sad that all three of these players had to play at the same time because any of them, I think, could have been excellent champions. Yet you go into Final Jeopardy with one player having 16,200 and she's in third place. That is absurd. But that's the game and that's why a lot of us love it. Carlos? Best of luck tomorrow. We'll see how you do on the final wager.